Hey Power Appers, my name is Robin and today we're gonna build an awesome circle chart that is also animated like this. Shane Young did a video a few weeks ago about all kinds of stuff with SVGs and he also did this uh, circle chart. I really like those circle charts because they draw your attention to one very important number, but they only work when you get numbers from like 0 to 1 or uh, 0 to 10 or 0 to 100. But I didn't really like the colors and I didn't really like the starting point. So this is a little bit how uh, Shane's chart looked, but in uh, black we want to fill it from the bottom and fill it from the bottom in both directions. So we get this effect that we fill from bottom to top. Then of course we want some animations and we can add in some colors. And as you saw also the, the color changes while it fills up. What really goes well with a moving chart is a moving number that is counting up. So let's do this one by one and start over new. So we are starting with a blank SVG as you can see. Just the SVG tags and a few box around with a width of 50 and height of 50. What we're gonna start with is a circle in the background. The middle of the circle is at 25, 25. And we'll look into the radius in a second. Gonna choose 17 right now. Stroke is gonna be a light gray. So we are going for the background circle first. And stroke width is, yeah, let's try 10. Oh, 10 is too much, so we're gonna choose uh, 5 right here, something in between. And uh, yeah, we want the fill to be transparent. And this is our background circle. So, and uh, this is there at all times. So we want another circle that is on top of it and let's do this in black and now comes an awesome trick how to get this effect that you only get parts of that circle filled it's really hard to produce only a part of a circle in svg code you have to give a starting point and end point so you have to use sine and cosine formulas to to get the exact point but there's an awesome, awesome trick that some uh, smart CSS guys worked out and this is to use the stroke dash array property. And what this means is that we can say to the SVG, normally this is used for dotted lines but um, yeah, what we say here is always fill one pixel and then make a hole for one pixel. So we can change that. But what we're gonna use here is we say fill it for some amount and then make a huge, huge hole. And you can see we just have to correlate now that this is the right percentage for our circle. So Shane did it the way that we have a circumference of 100 pixels and we're gonna do it the same way and I'm gonna show you how. Circumference of a circle equals two times the radius times pi. So we want a circle with a circumference of 100 and we're gonna divide this by two and times pi. 
this gives us a value of 15.915 uh, you can see it here so we want the same thing in the lower circle and now we can put a value in here between 0 and 100 which is the whole circle and 99 should be nearly the whole circle yeah you see uh, because circumference equals 100 and then we say first put a line uh, around the circle that is 99 pixels long and then make a break for 500 pixels so we don't show everything um, afterwards um, okay so yeah let's try this with a slider this goes from 0 to 100 and we're gonna put the slider slider 2 dot value in here so now we can put in any value from 0 to 100 and then we put a label with the text inside. Next thing that we want is to fill it from the bottom so that it doesn't start here, but it starts in the bottom. This is really easy. We just uh, transform the whole thing and rotate by 90 degrees. And this is for the rotation point, so um, rota rotated in the from the middle of the circle. So uh, it doesn't start right here anymore, but from the bottom. But we want it to be filled from the bottom to the top. So do a little trick with this uh, stroke dash array. We want only to have it filled by half the value to the left. Divided by 2. So when it's up to 100, then the left part fills to the top. Then we don't want a large break, but a break of 100 minus slider dot value and this is all that we need because when we have a value of let's take 20 then we start here then we go 10 in this direction then we have a break for 80 and then it starts over again with 10 in this direction. So we already got this great look. Nearly finished right here. Next thing that we need is the animation. And if you saw my last video of the animated menu, I'm gonna put it up here. Then uh, you already know the animation has to go inside of the circle text so we just don't close the circle text up there but down here and the animation goes right in between then we start an animation tag and we have a attribute name and we want to animate the stroke dash array and we close the animate tag right here so everything is working 
Next thing is that we want to animate the value of this stroke dash array. This starts at 0, 100 and ends at this value. And we're gonna say duration is one second, repeat count is one. So made a little mistake, um, value is wrong, it has to be values, S was missing, and now everything works as expected. So next thing that we need to do is to animate this number in the middle. And of course we can't do this uh, inside the SVG. So we need my most uh, dreaded component, a timer. We want this to be a duration of 1000 milliseconds. So it matches the one second we have here. Turn off auto pause, uh, turn everything of this off. Then we need to define on this slider or yeah, the thing that that starts your animation. Uh, in this case, it's the slider. We want in the on change property a reset variable, and we call this one var reset, and put it to true. And afterwards, we will put it to false again. So it toggles once to true and then back to false. And we want to reset that timer. So we go to the reset property and hit in var reset right here. And then we go to the start property and then we put the opposite of var reset in here. In the beginning it's a false and then it gets set to true and then stays true. So the timer starts and runs. And here, of course, we have to calculate the value and we're gonna multiply this value with the timer two dot value divided by the timer two dot duration. And this expression right here goes from zero to one in one second. Um, so in the end, it's a uh, 1000 divided by a 1000. So this value goes from 0 to the final value. And of course, timers don't work if you press the uh, Alt key. So we have to go into this mode. And it kind of works, but we need one more thing. We need to round this whole thing to um, zero digits. So we cut off everything that uh, comes after the point. Yeah, the last thing that we need to do is bring in our color value. Yeah, I copied all the color stuff in here. It was quite some work to get it right. And I show you first in a rectangle how it looks like, uh, how you change the color, and then we can use the same thing in the SVG. So we comment this thing right out for a second. This calculates us our color and look at the three colors that we are using. The first one is a red, so red value is at 255. This is a bright red. The second one that we're using is an orange and this has an R value of 255 and a G for green of 130. And the last value that we're using is a green. This only has this value and uh, blue is always at zero. And now let's take a look back to this formula. So when our value is below 50, then we want the R value to be 255 at all times. So from zero to 50, R stays at 255. 
but the green value goes from uh, 0 to 130. So that will give us our orange. And when we go over 50, then we want to reduce that value step by step from 255 to 0. So we end up with only 130 and blue always stays at 0. And we practically use the same thing in a animate on our SVG for our stroke. We gonna start at the value of a red, so 255, 0, 0. Then if we have a value of more than half of our circle, uh, at half we want to be at orange, then we want to make a stop in the middle of our time. This is the third value that we bring in, so the, the second of the three. So we stop in the middle at 50. Um, this is just our orange color. And the final value is practically the same formula that we used on our fill property here, but yeah, in text. And what we need to do at the last step is to put this fill equals freeze in here. This means um, stay at the last value that you were at. So um, don't go back to this value because we had a stroke of black, but stay at this value. I can take it out one time so you can see it goes uh, red to orange to green. And then when the animation duration is over, it jumps to black, but we have the fill equals freeze in here and then it stays at the green. You can of course use this in any animation. Most of the time it's like that, that you want to, to stay the animation at the end point if you don't want to repeat it indefinitely. And this is our finished product. I think it's a really, really cool visual if you want to draw all the attention to one number and the animation and the color changing works really well together with this chart. So when something's moving, your attention immediately jumps to this spot. So use this for the most important number on your page. I hope you liked today's episode and had some fun with Power Apps and SVGs. Now it's time to like the video and if you don't want to miss out on the next videos, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.